Welcome back to another episode of our Working with Evernote version 10.0 series. Today let's jump into sharing of notes. We're not going to talk about notebooks today. This is just individual notes and how sharing works, both publicly and privately. Let's get started here. You'll see I am working on Evernote version 10 for the desktop. This is on my Windows desktop about Evernote. Evernote 10.4.3. If you are not up to date, be sure you go to help and check for updates. If that doesn't pull in the latest version for you, be sure just to jump over to evernote.com and you can download it from there. Anyway, sharing notes publicly and privately. Uh, various different reasons that you may want to share a note. You might want to give another Evernote user access to a note so they can make updates and changes check off to-do lists, things like that. You might want to share something that's just general public information. And if you go back to some of my other videos, you'll actually see that in use. Today, we're going to concentrate just on sharing here, so I'm not going to jump into a variety of different reasons. You may have reasons of your own as to how and when you want to share something. But let's, let's give you a few little demonstrations here. We'll just jump to this note here. This is just a basic note that I've got in my Evernote system. I've opened a new bag of coffee here that I haven't used before, so I like to keep track of the different uh, different blends that uh, I try, and I make some notes on them and decide whether I'm buying them again or not. So let's just sh say I wanted to share this note with the world and say, here's what I think about this bonus breakfast blend coffee. We can go share up in the top right hand corner click that big green button and to share it with the world this is super simple all you have to go is shareable link click that little toggle so that it says enabled and go over here to the blue copy link once it says copy that is in your windows in this case clipboard or your Mac clipboard and it's there you can jump to an internet browser or you can put this in your email to somebody paste and there it is public this web browser here is not logged into Evernote at all that link is public anybody with that link will see your note nobody can change the note however this is view only all they can do is have a look at it Evernote slaps their header on here that says Evernote they got a little bit of a footer down below in case you're spamming people somebody can report it and so on if they do have Evernote for themselves they can save a copy of the note to Evernote and this is how I how a person can share different templates with others save a copy to your own Evernote if you want that person can then change it but you will never see those changes because they have saved a copy of your note to their own system so again, public note, public information. Do not share anything personal or private through a public link. If the other person doesn't have Evernote, you should definitely get them to have them download Evernote so you can save it, uh, share it privately, but definitely don't give out a public link with private information in that note. So again, just jump back here, click on your note, go to the green share icon in the top right hand corner of the note, click, turn that toggle to enabled, and then just copy that link and email it, post it on a public forum somewhere, do whatever you want with it, but that note is now public for viewing only. You can safely disregard the invite someone section and who has access because anyone with the link can view. The only thing you can do is disable the shareable link through that. You could stop sharing which does the same thing or you could turn that off which also does the same thing. Turning it off cleans up this little sharing screen but if we have it turned on you'll also note we get some icons in our note in the list view we get a little 
public link enabled icon and over on the note itself it also tells you anyone with the link can view this note. Click to view the link and access permissions. We're just going to go ahead and stop sharing as if this is a brand new note. Now let's say you want to share your note to another Evernote user. Well, same thing. We're going to stay in the same note here. We're going to go up to the top right hand corner, click share once again. And now you want to share this to somebody that has Evernote. So you need to know the email address of their Evernote account. Reach out to them and get that information and then go ahead and type it in. I will go in here and select my Evernote demo account. Click and I want to give them edit and invitation access. You can drop down the list here and change that. You can let them edit the note which obviously also includes viewing the note or you can let them view only the note. We'll leave it as edit and invite so they can edit the note and they can also send invitations out to any other Evernote user that they want to. You don't get to say who they can choose or not. So we'll leave it as that though for right now. We're going to click send invitation. Your icons pop up, pop back into play here. Two people can access this note. Click to view permissions. We can go ahead and do that. You'll see the other person you sent that in invitation to has a pending status. To close out of that, I'm going to minimize my Evernote desktop here. All right, so this is our demo account that we have shared that note with. It's loading out of the Opera web browser just to keep it separate. Our EN demo account here, we are going to go into notes that are shared with me. And uh, when you do share a note initially, it will go through into their email as well. So they do that second user does know that there is a note being shared with them. You'll see it right here at the top of the list. In this case, it's the note title, Coffee Tasting, shared by my owner's account here a few minutes ago. And we can click to go into that note. Here it is right here, the note title. Two people can access this note so I can see who the owner is, the author. I can see me on this demo account. I can edit and invite the note, so I could actually invite others here as well. We're not gonna do that. We are going to actually go ahead and do an edit. Edit. This is updated on the demo account. Changes will be saved automatically. We're on the web version here. We don't have any old legacy version where we have to hit refresh or anything like that. But what I am going to do is go back to all notes and I'm just going to click on a different note just so Evernote knows I'm not trying to edit this in two spots at the same time. So I've just clicked on my very first Evernote note just to take the focus away from here. Minimize that out of the way because we're no longer the demo user. So we're jumping back to Evernote on the Windows desktop as myself, as the primary Evernote user, not the demo account anymore. Up here is the coffee tasting note. We're just going to click on that and look at this, edit. This is updated on the demo account and now it is showing on the original account. So there you go sharing and editing a note between two different Evernote accounts. What happens if you want to give view only access? Well, let's just select this note right here. This is just some text information. I've been playing around with Todoist and exporting canceled tasks into Evernote for reference. Uh, that's kind of irrelevant, but we're going to do a sharing as well. Share. I don't want this public information. I want to go and share this with my Evernote demo account. So we're going to start typing in my demo account email address. Let's go ahead and give them view only access this time around. They can look at the note. They can't change it. 
send invitation and you could you might ask why is that different or how is that different than when we turn this shareable link on initially because it's view only well this is view only in a private manner because you have selected the very specific user as to who can see that note let's jump back to that opera web browser here as our demo user the todoist cancel tasks notes that i shared to this demo account i can click you can see it right here shared date a few minutes ago we will hit click on that and there is the note i can't click on the check boxes i can't edit any of that information i could copy it copy and i could paste this into a new note i can't duplicate the node, I can't move it, I can't share it, I can't do anything else. I could add it to my own shortcuts. Uh, but I can't edit this note. It is locked in view only mode. You can't edit, as you can see there, you can't edit or share this note. I can see what permissions are. I can see that me on the demo account is view only. I can see that my other account is an edit and invite account you do not have permission to add anyone so I can't share this note back out I can't give it public status or anything and I'm just going to again go to all notes and go to a local note there minimize we're going to jump back to my main Evernote account to disable some of this sharing you can click the green share button or you can click the little people icon there that says you're sharing you get to the same display and we could stop sharing completely or we could turn off sharing from the single person remove access gone if we go back to our demo account uh, opera web browser here shared with me the cancelled tasks note click it briefly popped up there, now it's gone. You no longer have access to this note. My coffee note is still there though, just like you can see, and it's still shared to edit and invite. Close, all notes. I'm just going to jump out of that. We'll minimize there and jump back to my main Evernote account. The green sharing of icons here are gone to note that I'm no longer sharing that note with anybody. Back to the coffee tasting note. It's still shared, shared with two people for reference. I can add extra people onto that if I want, or I can go back into the sharing display. I can remove their access, I can change. Maybe I don't want them to do any further updates so I can give them view only mode now. If I don't want them to invite others, I can change that to edit only. Or I could go up here and make a public link out of this as well. The demo account can still edit and invite others, but now I've also got a public link go there let's just jump back to yet another web browser paste and go this one's not connected with Evernote but now my coffee note is public to everyone for viewing it's editable by both myself as the original author and my demo account like you see here all publicly accessible just for viewing only however that is sharing of notes public and private and a little bit of more on here is basically sharing in both manners publicly and privately at the same time thanks very much for watching be sure to like subscribe and share this video if it was of use